Alright, so you've already configured OpenVoss with the username and password. You've had it up and running, you turn off your computer, and you start it up again. Well, here's how to start up OpenVoss once again. What you want to do is go to Applications, Backtrack, Vulnerability Assessment, Scanners, OpenVoss. Start off with the Start OpenVoss Scanner. I'm going to assume you guys already did the NVT sync. So we'll just go straight into it. You can see here I'm loading all my plugins. Depending on your processing speed, it might be a little faster or slower. Also, the amount of memory you have. Okay, awesome. Finally made it. So we're going to type open vos md p9390 a127.0.0.1. Now for the second command, we're going to type open vos ad a127.0.0.1 a127.0.0.1. P9393. Enter. Now a GSAD dash dash HTTP dash only dash dash listen equals 127.0.0.1 dash P9392. Keep the last one in mind. This one right here. What we're going to do now is go to applications, internet, Firefox. Now this right here, we're going to type this in, 127.0.0.1.9392. See, I already have it here. And now we're able to connect to Greenboon Security Assistant, which is OpenVoss. So we we'll type that OpenVoss admin and type in the password that you created for it. Log in, and there we have it. So now we're in OpenVoss. And in OpenVoss, what you can do is create your own scan configs. For me on the Windows server, I made my own Windows one. You can see not so many NVTs compared to the full and fast. Most people can do that. What you can do here is set your target. I already created a target, so I named it. This is going to be attacking a Windows Server 2003, my host. You can see over there it's a uh, 133 so just type it in and that's going to be a target port range to default click create target and you'll notice it's going to show up so this should be similar to the other one i already have right there so unnamed is the one i used but windows server is the other one too and your actions you can delete your target so i just deleted it because i already have a similar one go to the new task Let's say you want to do your scan and scan that Windows server. So you can scan that Windows server. You can use a full and fast or whichever scan config you created from scan configs. Full and fast is probably what most people use. Scan targets. Set it to the Windows server or whichever server, Linux, etc. that you want to use. Click create task. Now you see here you have your task. Now you click play and you're going to notice it's going to start. And here I like to set auto refresh to every 30 seconds just to see that Windows Server or OpenVoss scan is actually running. And for Windows Server, when I scanned Windows Server 2003, it took about three hours. It depends. Metasploitable took only like 10 minutes, so it really depends. And that's pretty much it.